welcome to another broadcast of Battlefield 3, live from Paris, France. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Gaming with Variety, the best source of variety gaming across the internet. My name's Jim, and today I'm joined with my co-host Dave via cell phone. Dave, how are you doing? Fantastic. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Dave. Well, let's see what we got laid out here for us today. Looks like a match of conquest on the famed Operation Metro. Obviously made famous by uh, the, the Battlefield 3 beta. Dave, did you get a chance to play? I did, uh, indeed, Jim. Um, it was it was a good map. I enjoyed the map due to the requirement of teamwork. However, me being a rogue soldier, I don't use much teamwork. I prefer to slap on that RPG and go for it. Hard to argue with that, Dave. Um, a very skilled player you are, so we we take we take your insights. Um, it, it, we, it's close to home for us, you know, um, as it resonates with so much skill and so much experience. So, as always, thank you for being on the broadcast today. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the action on the field here. Looks like we've got Pet the Cats running with the KH-2002. A fine burst weapon it is. He's running with the red dot sight, along with the suppressor on that weapon, and I'm pretty sure he has the foregrip on that. Is that correct, Dave? I wouldn't know. I'm not there with you. Oh, you're... Oh, that's true, Dave. You're here via cell phone. Um, where are you today, Dave? Well, if you must know, I'm at an airport. I'm at the uh, Chicago Airport O'Hare over here. And my flight has been delayed yet again 30 minutes. Well, sorry about hearing uh, of your holiday struggles there, Dave. I, I imagine you were out um, for some type of family gathering for Thanksgiving. What was the... What was the cause of your trip? Um, the cause of my trip, I actually had Thanksgiving alone in my apartment. I had uh, Chinese because they don't they don't really care much for Thanksgiving. But I um I need to go actually and visit my 80 year old mother, as you know. Oh yes. Um, yes, and. We see what we both have our yearly routine of doctor checkups on the heart and the liver. Um, and I've been having some problems. I don't know if I should go into some detail about these problems. Um, hmm. Let me just tell you, it, it hasn't been pretty. <coughs> and uh, I may or may not have to get my gallbladder removed. Oh my. That sounds serious, Dave. Are uh, you doing alright there? Well, I'm doing just fine. Oh. As the mom, Dave, uh, she is only 13 years older than you, isn't she? That is correct. Alright. Well, thanks for the update there, Dave. I suppose we should go ahead and uh, get back to the action here. Looks like we've got Pet the Cats once again, sitting there with his KH-2002. He is picking people off at the A flag, I do believe it is, and it looks like his team was just able to capture that, meaning they have set up a spawn trap of sorts, which is obviously the best way to go ahead and take control of a conquest match. Uh, Dave, do you have much experience in the conquest game mode? No. I didn't think so, Dave. I, I thought, thought you more of a, a team deathmatch player, is that true? Yes. Anyway, we'll go ahead and pick up here with Pet the Cats, who had just spawned on Shilling and was immediately killed. An obvious problem. Anytime you choose to spawn on a mate there, uh, obviously you need to check ahead of time as to what's, uh, what, what they're seeing and whatnot, but the black screen before actually spawning into the game has caused quite a few players some trouble. Dave, have you experienced any, uh, any frustration dealing with this? What, what do you mean there's no hot shopping at Starbucks? What? What kind of airport is this? What airport O'Hare at Starbucks Dave. does not have hot shopping? Dave. Just... <sighs> what? <sighs> Come on now. 
Dave. I'll just take a mocha then. Mocha, please. Excuse me, Dave. Oh, excuse me. Jim, Jim, what was that? Excuse me. Were you, were you, were you buying coffee, Dave? What, what were you doing? Uh, don't you worry about that, Jim. I'm on the job right now. Sorry about that, Dave. Let's not have anyone up about that. It's perfectly fine. Anyway, Dave, have you, well, uh, well, have you experienced yeah, well, any frustration with, uh, spawning into the game and immediately being killed? Uh, effectively, you know, more commonly known as spawn killing. Have you, have you, have you received any, any ounce of frustration dealing with this? Yes. But not as much as I do when Starbucks does not offer hot chocolate. Thank you for pro providing us with that relevant piece of information, Dave. I'm sure that applies to the gameplay we have laid out in front of us. So, as always, thank you for your insight. But other than that, it uh, looks like Pet the Cat's just uh, got shot there. I'm going to pick up with him on the spawn screen. What's he going to do here? There's a squad beacon laid out for him. Or, he could spawn on one of the adjacent flags. Ops for the squad beacon. And, oh, he's a little ways off of the B flag right there. So he's going to have to go ahead, go ahead and make himself mobile to get on over there to try to recapture it and whatnot. Dave, do you have any pro tips for this map, Operation Metro, the layout, the ABC uh, tri-flag layout? Anything you'd like to offer us? Usually the team that holds B in this scenario will win the game. Very true, Dave. I'm I'm sure most of the fans at home had no idea that the B flag held so much uh, importance in uh, in conquest there. But thank you once again for providing us with that helpful tip. As always, you can see any of Dave's tips at GamingWithVariety.com. This is one of our sponsors and provides some of the best variety gaming across the internet. We're here with Pet the Cats as he's on the escalator there. On the B flag, his team is trying to capture it. He just got that squad spawn ribbon. A very nice, uh, very nice ribbon to be awarded there. Something that comes along with uh, quite a few of your teammates spawning on you, I do believe, as the name might give hint to. Looks like they're gonna go ahead on the neutralized, but are they losing? Are they losing A at the same time, Excuse Dave? Me. Excuse me, security. Security, need to move real fast. Yeah. You see the guy, the towel on his head? Yeah, that, that one over there. Next to the guy in the green shirt. Yeah. Can you please watch him? Watch him. Watch him closely, please, sir. I don't like the way he's looking at us. He's not going on my plane, is he? Oh, that's gate C31. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I'm okay. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> what was that, Jim? Uh, I was curious, Dave, as to whether or not you've ever had any uh, issues with, you know, your 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 closest flag uh, being captured or anything just, like just that. But in. before we move on to that, Dave, what was that little um, exchange of words you just had with the security guards there? <sighs> well, just I don't like people that aren't like me. Is the problem? Oh, I see. And what? What? Do you ever wear towels on your head, Jim? Aside from after a shower, you. Dave, I really I don't off the towel. I is that a you spot someone with the towel, Dave? I don't want to believe to be a towel. I don't know. I I told this security guard over here that's not the same skin color as myself. So I'm also sketchy about him, because he's probably in on it, and I will probably not make it to my mother. That's right, Dave. I'm uh, I'm sure she understands. Uh, of all people, the 80-year-old white woman who comes from a wealthy family probably understands uh, the diverse cultures that uh, exist in America. So, no worries, Dave. You'll make your flight home. Don't worry about it. Anyway, as always, Dave. Thank you, Jim. Yes, Dave. Uh, I ensure your safety, uh, and I'm sure you like it. But anyway, we're back here with Pet the Cats, as we always are, because we do not have the ability to switch around to other players. Uh, really, the network needs to invest in some type of technology that would allow us to do that. But seeing as Pet the Cats is such a fantastic player, it only makes sense that we follow him and no one but him. Anyway, sitting here with his KH-2002, as always, at the B flag, working on protecting that from the enemy team. He gets shot uh, right after collecting the accuracy ribbon there. 
Anyway, he's going to go ahead and check the scoreboard a few times to recognize his fantastic score as soon as he gets revived there, only to pick up the Combat Efficiency Ribbon. Quite the ribbon to be awarded, but uh, Pet the Cats is used to it because he is so fantastic. Dave, what do you think about that Shilling fellow? Uh, realistically, I don't think he, he, he's got the make of a, a good Battlefield player, but I don't know, you, you seem to have some fantastic insight into how he plays and he's like... Well, from what my sources tell me, um, he's a team player. He prefers to uh, have good teamwork abilities. He also enjoys running the engineer class, just like myself, except he prefers using the actual weapons instead of the actual RPG most of the time. That's on the difference, and that's where he goes wrong. To be quite honest. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Um, he is wrong, Dave, and I. That's it's nice you, you brought my boarding. My boarding Excuse me. That's what the C means on my ticket. What the f is this, Southwest? A and B border. I don't give a mother about the damn ABCs. Let me board. Do you know who I am? Dave, calm yourself. Oh hell no. The damn towel guy's an A. How does he get a better seat than I do? <sighs> Jim, this is absurd. Dave, you probably booked this flight Never earlier, again. didn't you? Doesn't Southwest offer that some... Um, they offer some plan where you sign up ahead of time and, you know, you, you're allowed boarding tickets uh, earlier? Why, why, you're off the ball here, Dave? Or what's the deal with that? you, Jim. F you. Well, Dave, I have to question your use of foul language on the air here. I just want to remind you that each of these uh, beeps will have to place over your commentary are costing the network uh, hundreds of thousand dollars uh, in fines. So you might want to watch your mouth from now on, Dave. What I cost the network, I make up in attractiveness of my bod. Dave, you understand this is um, television, you're providing a commentary, so none of us can see your bod, Dave. So essentially, I'm questioning what's, uh, what you're trying to infer there. Obviously, the sexiness of my voice allows people to visualize my actual bod. Do you have a... God, I must, I must lower my books here. Do you ever, you know, Tom Cruise? Just, just picture him with brown hair. That's you, is it, Dave? It is. Tom me. Hanks. Wait, Tom. No, Tom Cruise. Excuse me. Tom Cruise with brown hair is yes. essentially what you look like. With Tom Hanks' personality, is the thing. With Tom Hanks' personality, and what is Tom Hanks' personality, Dave? It's mine. That does make sense, Dave. No, you were pointing that out. Well, um, seeing as, uh, seeing as this is probably, probably about to wrap up here, I, I suppose we should give our, our closing thoughts and, uh, and whatnot. Looks like the, uh, the Cats and, uh, Shilling team is gonna come out on top here. Looks like they're gonna go ahead and pick up the win here, the big old W. Uh, something you know nothing about, Dave. But anyway, before we close out here, I want to remind you all that today's broadcast was brought to you by Gaming with Variety. The best source of variety gaming across the internet. My name is Jim, Hell and that is Dave via cell phone. No, I'm not just sitting next to you. You have a towel on your head.